hello guys welcome to the channel today we have a dell board which came in for repair yesterday and uh, it's a uh, sedar intel hyphen mb 13269 hyphen 1 you can see the board we already opened it it's very common board in the market and this board is not turning on so let's try to find out what is the problem and try to repair it so guys let me show you uh, the board condition before I start repairing as you can see the DC is on the 19 volts the DC is on 19.5 volts and now we will plug the power cable and see what happens as soon as I plug the power the ampere is rising to 0 0.04 and if I press the power button see what happens nothing or it come back to zero so here I can guess there might be no shorting on the board but there could be faulty component anyway uh, let's find out shorting in the board and then we will try to sort it out one by one we will download the uh, schematic of this and we will start the repair so guys before we start we'll do the physical inspection of the board uh, through the microscope and then uh, we will try to measure the resistance after that we will inject the voltage and measure the voltages so let me check quickly so on the wind section everything looks fine no corrosion nothing BIOS is intact nobody touched okay so there is absolutely no moisture on the board on the other side nothing here 3.35 volts lane everything looks intact VRM section so there is no trace of moisture or nobody has touched this board earlier so we did not find anything on the inspection now let's do the cold checking once and check it out so the multimeter is on the buzzer mode now let's see the impedance of these coils processor coil is ok PCH ok battery coil ok no beep RAM ok 3.3 and 5 this also is ok so that means uh, there is no shorting or uh, body damage or burnt or anything on the board now let's inject the voltage and check what is the measurement we are getting so DC is on the 19 volts we have injected the DC and the ampere is rising to 0 0.04 ok guys now let's measure the voltage we don't have to press the power button as it is 0 0.04 something is heating now let's measure 19 volts first so on the CLR 19 volt is coming and on the 3.3 .3 volt lane 3.3 .3 is coming 5 volt also is coming RAM voltage RAM voltage is 1.35 uh, this voltage is almost ok uh, what about the core the core voltage is missing PCH voltage is coming that means the core voltage is not coming so we have to probe this area and this area further let's check it out on the schematic and see what is coming and what is not coming so here is the schematic we already have and now let's check it out the VRM section where we are not getting the coil voltage here is the IC so as per the schematic it is PU 4601 PU 4601 now we have a PU 4601 it's a core IC we are supposed to get voltage here now let's measure the voltages if we are getting the 
voltages. So for that I need to take a help of microscope. First we have to check it will pin number 12 the VCC. So here we are supposed to get 5 volt in the pin number 12 which we are not getting. If you check it out on the can, so pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That means here. Here we are supposed to get 5 volt but we are getting less voltage. How much we are getting? We are getting only how much? Zero point seven. So there is a problem. The second thing, then we have to check this uh, pin number four here. Pin number four also should have one point zero five voltage. Pin number four. One two three four. We are not getting. And then we have a pin number 1 that is VR on. This is very important. This is the signal which enables this IC, which we have to check this signal, pin number 1. Since the board is on, we must get it if there is no problem. Pin number 1 we are getting 1 volt, 1, 2. This is the pin number 2. Pin number 2 we are getting 3.3. .3. That is okay. So, here these were the main voltages and we were not getting in that the main is S0 since the board is on we must get this S0 voltage so it is not coming we have to check whether this capacitor is faulty or there is a problem with the incoming voltage or with the IC itself now let's disconnect the power cable and check it out if you are getting any beep sound or anything on this capacitor So here is the capacitor, the capacitor looks ok and if you check it out the pin, pin number 8 is beeping, what is there on the pin number 8, ok so this is having the ground no problem, ok so all the pins looks intact there is no beep. There is, there is no beep on the IC that means we must find out why this VCC is not coming ok so first thing what we need to do is we will remove this we will remove this capacitor and see whether we are getting the right voltage or not so let us do it ok so we have removed it now let's clean it and check it if you check here the voltage is 0 0.5 only okay so in that case what we can do is it's s0 state s0 state voltage what we'll do is we will trace out where this voltage is coming from if there is everything fine then they will change this ic itself or we may change this ic first and then we will check it out so first thing we will change the IC then we will trace out we will apply some lead based we will apply some lead So we have changed the IC and now we have to check it out if we are getting the right voltage. If we check it out, it is the same, lesser than that, same thing. So now we have to trace back and find out why it is the same thing. Now let's trace back this voltage from where it is coming. So guys, here is the place where S0 is coming out. It is coming out from this U3601 switch, as you can see. Uh, here S5 voltage is going through this switch from pin number 4 and from pin number 1 and 2 and there is one signal come PM underscore SLP S3 which is coming from this 
this is the critical thing uh, but it is not there in this board so this signal is coming and it is getting enabled through this switch this s0 5 volt 5 volts underscore s0 and 3 volts underscore 3.3 volts underscore s0 is coming out so on the board if we check it out so here is the switch which is converting it so now let's check it out if we are getting the right voltages throughout from this switch which is u3601 so on the pin number 1 so on the pin number uh, 4 we supposed to get 5 volt underscore s5 so pin number 4 the pin number 1 is start from here 1 2 3 4 pin number 4 we are getting 5 volts yes we are getting 5 volts if you can see it yes we are getting now pin number 1 and 2 pin number 1 and 2 we are getting 5 volts ok now pin number 6 7 pin number 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 pin number 6 7 3.3 .3 we are getting now on the other side now on the pin number 1 we should get enable voltage pin number 3 this is the enable voltage the enable voltage as well so on the other side we are supposed to get these voltages that is pin number 13 and 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 8 9 we are getting 3.3 which is ok now 13 and 14 this is the 13 and 14 here we are not getting the 5 volts so this this pin is supposed to release 5 point 5 volt underscore s0 which is not releasing and here one capacitor is attached to this maybe this capacitor is faulty or maybe this switch itself is the faulty so first check it out whether this capacitor is giving the problem no the capacitor looks fine if you can see it is giving the value uh, now it is confirmed that this switch itself is the faulty one we will replace this switch I already have this switch on the other board now let's replace it ok guys so we have replaced this uh, IC now it is good to go let's inject the voltage and check it out the 5 volt is coming now as you can see the 5 volt is coming and the ampere also is loading to 0.25 now let's connect everything and check it out so guys as you can see if I plug the power cable all the voltages are coming now and the board also is on this 1.7 voltage was missing and it is coming as you can see and the laptop is on and the board is on now let's connect it everything and check it out so guys we have connected the RAM and uh, we will plug the power cable so guys we have connected the power cable now as you can see the fan is spinning and hopefully the display also will come yes the display has come as you can see so guys these are the genuine videos of repair if you are willing to learn from my videos please subscribe my channel and if you learn something from this video please like the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching have a nice day